I'm happy to share today a brief story about one of the highlights uh, of my field uh, project at Tel Abel Bet Macha. On the floor, we found a podium, an elevated circle of stones, and on top of that sort of stage, we found a jar. And this jar, which is quite small and not very unique, contained 406 animal knuckle bones, and they were stuffed together inside a small jar, and we had to wonder what they were doing there in what seemed to be some kind of, perhaps, a ritual. We found that each bone had its own history, its own biography. In one of the bones, we had a little piece of metal inserted inside, and all of them had use wear sheen, meaning that they were tampered with. These were collected at this specific event for a reason which we are not sure about. However, there is a very famous story from the Bible, from 2 Kings 20, that tells of a wise woman, a Tel Abel Bet Macha, that protected the town when the military commander of King David wanted to destroy it uh, because of a rebel that allegedly hid there. Sheva ben Bichri, and this woman, in a very long and touching speech, says to Job, to this military commander, she says, long ago, they used to ask at a bell and get their answers. She was telling him, please don't ruin the city, it's an important city, and we have a tradition of divination here. Although we are not sure when exactly this biblical verse was written down and what it refers to, we do uh, take out of it the grain of truth, the oral tradition that was included in such passages. All we know is that at the end, this jar was left on the podium, abandoned, as we believe was the entire city. Whatever they concluded there, it got them worried, and they had left the city, abandoned it at the end of the 9th century BC. Now we are left with the question of which historical event caused this massive desertion. So it is finds like this that help us illuminate the history and the geopolitical situation that we had here during the Iron Age, using analogy and textual evidence and biblical stories, as well as uh, scientific methods, we are able to shed light on ancient events and processes. And these objects are silent until we do that. So maybe next time you are here in Israel, you might consider joining us on one of our excavations. You can do the digging yourself. You never know what you might find.